Thunderbird's Danger Zone is a 2-6 player cooperative game. Each taking a turn as Jeff Tracy, players need to gather the correct amount of resources required to complete missions before time runs out. Journey tokens and other members of International Rescue are on hand to help, but beware the hood's interference. Playtime takes between 20 and 50 minutes depending on the episode. Setting up the game. First of all, choose an episode of Thunderbirds. There are seven to choose from. We recommend End of the Road as the starting mission. Lay the blue Danger Zone cards out for your chosen mission in a row of three. Then below, add a row of orange journey cards. Place a journey token on each journey card. These include the hood tokens. Choose a Tracy Island card. There are four countdowns to choose from, ranging from easy to hard. Place the chosen card at the bottom of the game area. Then place the character tokens that correspond to their respective Danger Zone cards at the bottom of the column, along with another journey token. Finally, one player starts with the Jeff token and deals everyone a hand of three yellow resource cards. Player Jeff nominates a resource from a journey card, or a Danger Zone card if the journey cards have been completed. For example, six technology. All other players then choose a card to play face down. Player Jeff then chooses two resource cards to be revealed. If the number of resources on those cards, in this case technology, exactly make up the number six, the mission succeeds. Place a success token over the nominated resource. If not, Player Jeff can step in and swap a card from his own hand to make the number the correct amount. He adds the swapped card to his own hand and the mission succeeds. However, if his help still doesn't make the cards meet the exact resources required, the countdown marker moves down. Don't forget, player Jeff can also opt to use journey tokens. These are worth resources. The number depends on the exact token, and once they are used, they are discarded from the game. A hood token means you require extra resources, once again depending on the exact type of token in play. Mission Support Placing the poolside, lounge and two mission support cards near the board, along with the remaining character tokens green side up, other members of International Rescue stand ready to help you. If player Jeff does not need to swap a card on his turn, he can activate a character from the lounge. Each character has a unique ability and can be used twice before retiring to the poolside card until reactivated by Jeff. Game End if every resource on each card has a success token covering it before time runs out, then congratulations, you've won! For a complete tutorial, check out our full how to play video. For now, FAB and good luck!